Oh, what's good, fine people of the Sea Jag world? That nigga Cam's in the shower. Uh, so god damn, bro, he has this PlayStation, right? It's like a airplane that takes off every time he turns it on, and his controller holds a charge for like two minutes thirty seconds, bro. It's actually pissing me off. It's not actually pissing me off, but you know what I'm saying? Like, what'd you drop? Talk to him. What did I drop? Your phone, probably. Ah, I did drop my yeah, phone. Yeah, every time. When I was washing my hands. <laughs> Dumb, man. Bro. Shut up the fuck up. Yeah. I... Um, I'm about to go walk. I have to do cardio. I just shit because <laughs> I drank a smoothie and <laughs> not, I had two protein bars. Natural so bowel If movement. you know anything about any, any sort of like protein snack, you're going to have to shit. That's just me being real. Um, this guy right here is Buns at Final Fantasy. Yeah, bro. Yo, bro, hold on. Can I show this? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I might be able to. Hold on. Let me show y'all something. Switcher, bro. Final Fantasy Crisis Core, bro. If you fight Efri, you kn if you know, you know. He's an asshole, bro. Like Final Fantasy Crisis Core Seven, bro. Efri's an asshole. Trust me, he's an asshole. And so is Bahamut. Whatever the dragon's name is, he's an asshole too. He's a pussy. He's just ass. I'm not ass, bro. I beat the um, niggas. Yeah, so we were watching Dragon Ball. Show like half of that. Um, I think my favorite character in the show is probably either going to be Cell. Hold the zap real quick. I'm about to pause it. I don't think you can play in the back. Oh, shit, sure, yeah. <laughs> Loki. Uh-oh. Now we're good, though. Just um, quiet as fuck. What did I say? Oh, yeah. I think my favorite characters in the show might be, uh, or will probably be Cell, uh, Future Trunks. I like Goku, but he's too much of a dumbass for me. <laughs> I like my intellectual intellectual characters. How about Vegeta, bro? I fuck with Vegeta. Um, so coming from someone that's not very egotistical, to see somebody embody it so passionately, I respect it. And then for him to like consistently get stronger because christian did show me like uh further episodes of like his transformations and shit like that had to get him into it yeah you know i know all my lore because of this guy so all my posts trust me i'm not a poser but anyways um i like vegeta's transformations and like the fact that he embodies his ego and everything like that and then his constant like chase after goku i really do appreciate that because like uh i, I find it to be like very reminding of myself uh because i don't have any heroes or like people that i i'm inspired by at least not right now in my life but growing up my dad was like somebody that i was looking up to and everything like that and when he had gotten me into the gym like i was constantly trying to chase him and see if i can do the same weights as him train as hard as him like just overall just beat him all together as a person but Ultimately, one thing as a son that you learn to realize is that you will beat him. Um, that's just how life is. The torch gets passed on to you. So I came to that realization. I'm no longer in that Vegeta mindset. So, yeah. But other than that, I do like Vegeta. He is pretty cool. But, all right. I yapped enough. We got to walk now. <laughs> all right. So uh, we are going to walk, but it's misting. And I paid a lot of money for that camera. I'm not, mm -mm, I'm not even gonna try it. So we're gonna walk my neighborhood and then come back, rip the bomb, and then I have to make breakfast, like actual breakfast. Well, I have to make meal number two. Yeah, so, um, and then we have legs later. I'm not really too excited for that, but it's got to get done. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. All right, so just a little token of advice for you guys uh, going forward in life. Um, a lot of you hit me up saying that you feel lost, you don't know what to do. Kind of just like going about everyday, everyday life. But one thing I 
always remind myself when I feel like that is let your mind create the destination, right? Let your heart put out the path, right? And let your soul create the drive. So, honestly, whatever it is that you want to do in your heart, put your mind to it. Your heart will create the path to whatever goal that you have in your soul because you have to give everything your all. That'll drive you all the way there. But the trick to it all is patience. And that's what a lot of people lack. And that's why you see a lot of people fail. So be patient and maintain your drive. Be like the whole saying. Gotta get done.
Also, that probably should be more of the same. That looks good. And... Oh, my God. Get out of here. Bulk's bulking. Is it? For sure. Inspired thousands, more like the thousands who inspired one man. <laughs> testing, testing. See if the cam finally works. You stand over here. And the sun's right there. All right, baby. So you just stand over here. Ready? Mm hmm.
like all might. I feel like all might. It hurt, bro. That shit hurt like a motherfucker. Oh. Upgrades in life. Cutting off. Um, loose ends. Cutting off contaminated, toxic, acidic people. Cesspool ass people. Um, we up. We gotta get out of here. That's all, that's the main goal, that's, that's the plan. That's the mantra, that's the fucking everything, bro. Getting out of here. And then when we get out of here, I gotta get up there with those guys. And once I'm out, once I get out of here, and once I'm up there, then I can finally say I'm at peace. But until then, we grind, we work, we sweat, we struggle, we endure, we fucking just get it done. It's got to get done, and someone's got to get it done. It's got to get done. Bro. It's got to get done. Someone's got to get it done. Winter's coming. Huh? Winter's coming. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Winter's coming. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs>